What's up everybody? I'm at Casa Paredes in Los Angeles and I am here to share with you how to do a home visit or what some of your calendars might call a wellness check. The very first thing you want to make sure to have is your staff badge. Many times when we're doing home visits, we're talking to people that don't particularly interact with our services. So we want to make sure that we are properly identifying ourselves with our staff badge. The other thing you're always going to want to have with you is your wellness check log. This is where you're going to make notes for everything that you do when you're meeting with the residents. You're also going to want to bring some sort of a resource. That may be a food bank list, a print off from the most previous workshop, maybe what I have today, which is the latest calendar. It's important to always leave our residents with a resource. First thing, make sure to hang a sign at your community, letting the residents know you are doing door-to-door -door contact in the community. Let the manager know you're going door-to-door, -door, preferably through an email. Now's the fun part, knocking on the doors. On your wellness check log, you want to note the date, apartment number, and name of the resident. You want to talk to the resident about any needs they may have. Maybe you can reference our menu of services for things they may be looking for assistance with. If resident requires more assistance, schedule a time for them to meet with you at the center and notate that on the wellness check log. Make sure to make any other notes. A couple of things to remember is not to be too much in a rush. We don't want our residents to feel like they're a task that we have to complete. If you knock on a door and a resident isn't home, note that and make every attempt to connect with the resident on the next home visits. We should be trying to meet with at least five residents every time we do home visits. You should be spending at least an hour every time you have home visits or wellness checks listed on your calendar. Sometimes it'll say that there's more time that we have dedicated for the home visits. So make sure to take that time. I hope this video helps in our home visits and our wellness checks. If you have any questions, make sure to reach out to your regional coordinator.